So welcome back. In my pants. Exactly. <laughs> I showed my mom an episode of Ryan Johnson. Oh yeah. Back okay. when he did Double Rainbow. Yeah. And he did the joke is in my pants. Mm -hmm. I was like, whoa. Time thing. Yeah. I'll just, I can't I forgot that was a joke. Mm-hmm. So was it even really a joke? Quote unquote joke. <laughs> I, I feel like that's most of our comedy is quote unquote jokes. True. We cannot fly mm -hmm. unless we die. Oh, I made a rhyme. Whoa. Uh, I'm that was on purpose though. So it's not impressive. Oh no. Or is it? I don't know. It's uh, extra impressive. Oh yeah. I'm finishing around a full con kind of shuffle. Okay, cool. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna stop you. <laughs> Someone good to handcuffs! Pew, pew, pew! It's a Pokemon police. <laughs> stop playing Pokemon. I'm doing really bad. Oh no! Which sucks. How can you claim to be my friend if you're bad at Pokemon Shuffle? <laughs> I mean. I don't care, I, I've played a whole 10 minutes of Pokemon Shuffle on my 3DS, I think. Yeah. So. There was a, a special stage. Oh yeah. The Katini. Ooh. It gives you experience points up the wazoo. Ah, I fell. Or out the wazoo, whichever one is the good one. Both. Yeah. Everything involving wazoos is good. True. <laughs> what about a kazoo in the wazoo? Even better. That sounds like you're speaking African. Kazu Wazu. <laughs> Actually, no, that sounds more like a Star Wars deep lore language. Mm -hmm. Kazu Wazu. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's actually what it is. Aha. Kazu Wazu. It might oh, be. Oh, oh, oh. Because there was a zero. And he might say that. Uh, he slash she. Because yeah, I still, that. I have no idea if Zero is a dude or not. If, if Zero is a female, then it would be the first um, same-sex relationship in Star Wars, actually. Oh, I snap. A size snoodles. Yeah. So, yeah. But that I actually think Zero is a dude. Just very terrible, you know, cancer. Yeah. Cancer character. And a top player of Smash. Yeah, that too. <laughs> Zero the Hut is a top Smash player. It's true. Zero, Zero the Diddy player has gotten nothing on him. Uh, Zero the used to be Sheik player. Well, he was good, so. That's true. Still also had nothing on him. <laughs> Weren't they pushing for a same sex couple in. Star Wars. Yeah, they're pushing for Poe and um, Finn to be a same-sex couple. And I'm like, oh, okay. eh, no, please. I like them being uh, bro Hines, you know. Yeah. Because I actually like their their sort of sort of romance, you know. Yeah. I don't want it to be a homosexual romance. Yeah. So. Yeah. Some. Yeah. I don't know. It doesn't always have to be romantic. Yeah. Exactly. Sometimes we, it's better as not in fact. Yeah, we have, we have the romance going on that we've had for yes. so many years, and <laughs> I mean... Once yeah. our, our teacher said it. Yeah, exactly, it's canon. Miss uh, Reverend Jub Jub. Reverend Jub Jub. Yeah, I couldn't think of his uh, honorific, mm -hmm. or whatever the heck you call that, his title. Yeah. That's what it is. Honorific is Japanese. Close enough. Close enough for apples and oranges. Yes! <laughs> that was a pretty spooky oh. room that mm -hmm. you were in for a few seconds. Indeed. Well, she like they started giving herself a hand job. Ah, yeah! yeah. Oh. So, when like a, a talent agent finds someone with really good hands, he gives them a hand job. Yeah, but it's a hand modeling job. Oh. Maybe? So he. 
<laughs> so he takes clay and he models pictures <laughs> of hand jobs. Yeah, 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 of course. <laughs> Oh, Stacy just greeted us like jump jump. Indeed. It could also be, um, like 3D modeling. Computer software. Ah, yes. That's true. Yeah, that's interesting that when I hear modeling, uh, clay modeling comes to mind before 3D modeling. Mm hmm. Because you would think 3D with all the video games I enjoy. Mm hmm. I don't know. Also, I'm. I, I was gonna go this way. Um, let me just go to that one. I, that one. I actually don't know which one. It's probably actually faster this way. So we go in the other way if, as soon as it stops lagging out on me. Uh oh. You're gonna explode from probably. Inception. Because this is like a backtrack within a backtrack. Wow. Oh. so close mm -hmm. to achieving your dreams, yet it was not meant to be. Mm -hmm. I make a piece of pizza stuck in between my teeth. Oh no! So I can that taste sauce. That is actually sauce. terrible yeah. when that happens. But it's worse with popcorn though, mm -hmm. especially if it's in your gums and it's yeah. like stabbing you. Indeed. Like ah! Oh. Yeah, then it's actively uncomfortable. Yeah. Oh, you know Ack Shop, or whatever her name is, the amiibo, custom amiibo person? No. Okay, she's one of the people who makes custom amiibos, mm -hmm. and I followed her for a giveaway at some point, mm -hmm. but I <laughs> I unfollowed her this morning. Oh, yeah? Because I almost threw up. Really? That, well, not quite, but it like, made me sick, because it was nasty, <laughs> which I, I guess I'm the weird one, because it's a cultural thing. But I, like I wake up and the first thing is I have Twitter notifications. So I open Twitter, and I'm, I'm like scrolling through, and she's got like this picture of this food she's having, mm -hmm. and it's three complete frogs on a plate with like some weird yellow sauce on them. Uh -huh. Like ah, they were just so nasty to me. Mm -hmm. Just a, a just a straight up frog. Yeah. Who would eat that? <laughs> Oh man. What would you and how? How? Yeah, you just take the thing and you, you just like bite his head off? Yeah, I, I oh. don't know. <laughs> like what what parts of frogs are even edible? I know the legs are but... Yeah, that's what I've heard, like that it tastes kinda like chicken. Oh man. Because, I mean, I didn't I've never eaten frogs, so I don't know how it tastes, but like from from what I can tell it looks or it, it seems like it would taste like chicken because when we were dissecting them in freshman year of high school. They, yeah. they smell like like a mixture of <laughs> like poultry. Yeah, they they smell like fish and chicken together. Oh wow! But like not not as appetizing, especially yeah. since they're you know decaying and stuff. Ah! Yeah. Why are you knock me off? I'm I so think sorry. the thing is though is you can talk to lots of meat eaters and they won't say like they'll take like a a squirrel and mm -hmm. they just like eat the squirrel. Yeah. Like usually they want it to look like food and not like you're eating a dead animal. Yeah, indeed. And just. I don't know. Yeah, they usually... The, the shiny frogs with like the sauce on them. The mm -hmm. sauce... I don't know, it just like super grossed me out. Mm -hmm. Maybe because it was... Especially because I was like barely awake. Yeah. Weren't, weren't expecting it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't imagine. I don't... I literally don't think I could do that. Mm -hmm. Like if I was on Amazing Race or Fear Fact and I was getting paid to do it, I think I'd like try and take a bite and just throw up yeah. and it would not be physically possible if you like had to swallow it mm -hmm. i think i might be able to do it <laughs> i just wouldn't enjoy it yeah very much but like yeah i don't know because i mean the, the whole frog can't be edible you know yeah so why serve the whole frog yeah it's like you don't serve a chicken whole usually <laughs> Yeah. You cut off, cut off, cut off the meat parts that you want to eat. And even when you have like a, a roast chicken or something, mm -hmm. it doesn't have like a face. Yeah. They like mm -hmm. cut off the head and mm -hmm. the, like the, 
not the whole egg, but like the weird, you know, claws. Yeah. You're not gonna eat the claws. I so I think the only reason you would do that is just I don't know to show that you I don't know, to look fancy or something maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Though I don't know if that's fancy or not because I don't understand fancy food. Yeah, exactly. Like what constitutes fanciness? Yeah. I mean, it's completely arbitrary in every sense, not even food. Because mm -hmm. I was thinking about that. I went to this golf outing for her. Oh, so, so fancy. Oh, yes. But it, I was a volunteer, so mm -hmm. I wasn't, like, one of the big golf dudes or anything, or even a caddy. Yeah. Um, also, here's what I mean by, like, I'm giving you hints to your name. Because it said something about a lake. So I think there's one... Oh. Lake, lake, lake. Okay. So that's where it is. Okay, that's pretty good. Yeah. Hint. Um, but I was thinking of like how in how silly like fancy quote unquote clothing is. Mm hmm You it's like a jacket and like a tuxedo and an undershirt possibly and like a bow tie or a, just a normal tie, whatever. Mm -hmm. It's like you're wearing so many layers that you're gonna be hot in like any environment. Yeah. You're wearing a thing around your neck that feels like you're getting choked. Uh huh. It the material you have to wash is wash special. Yeah. It stains and gets dirty easier. It wrinkles easier. It attracts animal hair easier. It's not as comfortable to wear, and you're more restricted in wearing it. Uh huh. Literally, that's like saying like i'm gonna chop my left leg off because it's more fancy to walk with one leg <laughs> it's like what you're encumbering well, yourself for no reason yes <laughs> but you also look really nice like <laughs> i mean i don't like wearing a suit and tie and stuff but when i do i'm like hey i look nice you know yeah so there's that at least yeah but even right. that's like cultural mm -hmm. like if we were raised to think differently then we would mm -hmm. I, I presume i suppose yeah <laughs> But yeah, Buffet, food. I guess food. It just, <laughs> it's even. It's like around the, this. I don't know. It's probably decided by how much money it takes mm -hmm. and how. Yeah, that's the only annoying it is to, that's to the, make. <laughs> that is, yeah, that is honestly the only like um, numerical value you can put on fanciness is how much it costs. Yeah. And if it's fancy, then it's gonna be a lot. And with food, I feel like it's. I don't know. Like, I don't know. I try to think of examples. Mm -hmm. It seems like a lot of times it's the ingredients, but I can't. I don't know. It it doesn't seem like it must taste that good, because I can't imagine yeah. caviar is like. I mean, fancy food is amazing. It usually doesn't even taste that fantastic, and like, yeah. I would honestly rather like go eat. A cheeseburger from Wendy's or something. And that'll be more filling. Yeah, exactly. And like, <laughs> it's not like a cheeseburger from Wendy's is a gross piece of crap, like a uh, cheeseburger from McDonald's or something. <laughs> but yeah. it's way, it like tastes just as good as the fancy food, and it's cheap. So yeah, yeah. This the silliest uh, example of, is of course the one they put like sprinkles of gold or something on it. Yeah. Or, um gold leaf yeah it's like was that's not even a that's that's like pointless yeah exactly you're not you're, you're, that's you're, not even food it's not nutritious <laughs> it's not it doesn't provide any sort of energy it's just hey i'm so rich i'm going to have some edible gold put into my food <laughs> it's and, stupid and by edible it means it's just gonna go through your digestive system like you just swallowed a rock mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not gonna do anything for you i don't think indeed I might need a power bomb to do this. Do I have any? Yeah, I do. It... Why not even do it? Um. Is this, did you think it was going to destroy that pillar? Actually, it's probably the next one over. Uh. Do you have another power bomb? Nope. <laughs> Time for enemy grinding. Yeah. But there's lots of them in here. Plus, there's a lot of them as well. How many can you have? Three? Uh, I can have four now. Oh. And I might be able to super missile it actually. Oh. Yeah, oh, so you could have probably gotten that a while ago, yeah. Yeah. But I, I had forgotten about it. So, yeah. Good thing it gives you hints without even having to read them on the thing.
Oh yeah, that's nice. So now I need to go back to the phase on mine. So. <sighs> Yeah, so I guess I'll just go back to the Chisodians. Um, which way? Eh. Oh. Actually, it's probably faster to go to the one in the elevator to town. Yeah. Oh, I was saying in Borderlands. I don't think I ever finished my story. I forgot. Um. I was playing the D and D one mm -hmm. DLC, yeah. And there's that one puzzle with like the cubes that are floating around and stuff. I was one cube that's floating around. Uh huh. Um, and you could just punch it and break it. Mm -hmm. So that's what I did. Yeah. I didn't even know that you could do that, mm -hmm. but I just punched it. Yeah. And it broke. You don't. You don't get the good reward for doing that, but you pass the quest. Uh -huh. So I was kind of sad because I wanted to see what the reward was. But yeah. Oh well. Indeed. Funny. It's been a while since I've played that DLC. Yeah. It's pretty long. Mm-hmm, I know. And good. Yeah, it's... What DLC should be. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was just gonna say, it's one of my favorite DLCs of all time. Yeah. And... For a reasonable... Lots of content, well made for a, de a reasonable price. Yeah. That's an actual expansion of the game. Indeed. It's not trash. That you cut out from the game. Yeah. Because it doesn't fit. Like, I read an interview with um, Trey Parker and Matt Stone, who are the creators of South Park, and they were talking about the Fracture of the Park, which is the new game, of course. Yeah. And so they were saying, like, yeah, we don't, we don't want to do DLC because it's usually just, like, trash that you cut from the game. It didn't fit. <laughs> yeah. So they just didn't want to do it, unless if, and they don't want to do it ever, unless if they feel they can do it right. Yeah. Which I'm glad. They feel that way. Yeah, it's nice because it actually shows that they care about the game. Yeah, exactly. Because, yeah, gaming has definitely become very industrial or yeah. industry based. Mm -hmm. I don't know, whatever. Maybe industrial was the word. Sure, why not? Based on making money is what I mean. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. Well, that's what any industry is, though. Yeah, but so, a lot of people don't even exist. care about the games. Yeah. They only care about the money, is what I mean. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, you're going to want money. Yeah. But... Be foolish if you didn't. I think eventually they're not going to make any money if they just keep making crappy games. Yeah, exactly. Like, Assassin's that's, Creed, yeah, that's, that's, that's why they actually stopped. Mm -hmm, because they're like, oh, hey, we're not making good games. Let's take a year, work on it, improve it, show people that we can make a good game again, you know? Yeah, because it was getting to the point where the series was just becoming a joke, and people were like, could if they could be like, oh, a new Assassin's Creed, and literally know only that there's going to be a new Assassin's Creed, and just be like, well, it's going to be crap. Yeah, so. indeed. Yeah, hopefully they improve. And mm -hmm. that was probably an episode. Okay, go for you later. Go for you later. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.